Hey, what's going on today, guys? Reckless Bat here, bringing you our week three battle for the IBA season four, and I'm your coach of the Texas Tyrantrums, going up against the Calgary Flamethrowers, coached by Gallidite. Um, I believe is his name, but definitely go check him out. He's linked in the description, like all the other coaches, but um, kind of late on our battle this week, or these last couple weeks, my bad. I'll try to get these knocked out and uploaded uh, the next couple days for our week five battle with, with Poise. I think it was our week five. I'm so behind on this league, it's just not even, I have no motivation right now, but either way, we're here with our battle. Um, I'm going to be going over, not, mm, I don't know, we, this is a, another division rival, so I don't want to go over my team too much. I'll kind of just go over sets that I, that I brought that were used. Um, spoilers, I didn't use my Infernape, so I'm not going to really go over that. Um, and I think that's only Mon, but I may not go into too much detail on everything else, but either way. Start off with our eel, which is AV, of course, because I like always run AV. Um, got a bit of an attack investment with U-turn, uh, discharge at Grass Knot and Crunch. Uh, we've got our Mega Venusaur, pretty just bulky, uh, with Leech Seed, Synthesis, Good Drain, and Sludge Bomb. We've got our Uniclus with uh, Recover, Psychic, Toxic, Energy Ball. Uh, Hydreigon, which is Scarfed with uh, Dark Pulse, Outrage, Roost, and Defog. Defog was a last minute change. Uh, I didn't want to get Whirlwinded around with his Skarmory around. Um, that would have been bad for my other mons. It really doesn't affect Hydreigon or my Reuniclus or my Electros, but like I don't want my Venusaur or Nidoqueen taking a lot of chip damage on entry, so uh, kind of last minute change on Defog. I think I had a fire type move for the Skarmory for that in my last spot before that or earth power one of those two um for the pecs uh but yeah moving on our infernape uh, like i said i'm not gonna go over it too much because i didn't use it uh, i kind of wanted to save that for rematch if i want to bring ape again but uh yeah and last but not least our nita queen which is pretty bulky uh life orb sheer force with stealth whack earth power sludge wave and thunderbolt so that's our team uh, i really like the team i built this week it was very bulky outside of like nita queen and my infernape Inferni, but Inferni needed a lot of chip on things to even do anything. Like, my main goal was to either get, I need to get Latias out of the way first. That was the main thing. Uh, Flopany was in range, um, Inferni could deal with that. Um, I needed Pex like around half. Uh, and then Skarmory, I can just, I can deal with pretty easily. So, um, and then Raikou, I really didn't see it doing too much to me, but, um, like I said, either way. And then Comfey, really, I didn't really see Comfey coming. So that was kind of a little interesting bring, but either way, I get to the battle. Uh, as I believe, I decided to lead with my Electros, if I remember correctly. It's also going to be like a really weirdly sped up battle. Um, and also not in Citra this week, because I could not be asked to record this battle on Citra. You will soon find out why. <laughs> either way, he leads off with his Latias, and I'm just going to go for the Crunch, because I don't want to like waste any kind of thing on this lot I was trying to set up or something or I don't know what it could have done but I, I didn't want to U-turn on that turn so I decided to just crunch and get the the comfy on the switch in as he's gonna go for a draining because we just chew that because of the AV uh, and I'm gonna go for U-turn as get my momentum on my side I really had a choice to go into Venusaur or Nidoqueen here chose to go into Nidoqueen and just fire off a I think I'd predict and go for a Thunderbolt in case he did want to go into either his Pex or his Skarmory, predicting the Sludge Wave, so either way that would have covered uh, that nicely. His uh, Comfy wasn't doing anything to, me, anything to me anyway, so kind of predict him to go for Protect or the Baneful Bunker and I go for Rocks on his turn, because uh, you know I'm a boss. <laughs> Kidding, but I do get my Rocks up that, that turn as I'm just going to go for, I think I go for Thunderbolt again as he goes into his Latias, and this will chew it pretty well, but you know any kind of chip on this Lottie will be really nice. Uh, does a, like what like 10 or 15 percent which is some good little chip with the uh, rocks damage so go back into my electros as i take this side shock pretty well and i know i can live um with my investment for this next one he had like two rolls to hit to kill me here um like the two highest rolls would have killed but he gets a crit so i unfortunately have to die um i would have loved to get that u-turn damage on that latias that turn as um i'm gonna be forced into my reuniclus to just go for psychic i kind of wanted him to go into pex um or i don't know why i went for psychic tbh um honestly i don't remember why i clicked psychic there but either way go to my new queen because he again has no switches to me as i think i should go for thunderbolt again because free t-bolts 
as he knows I already have the Thunderbolt. I could have gone for like the Sludge Wave predicting to switch into like Gladi or this thing and just bop it, but either way, we get some nice we get some nice chip on this uh Comfey as I can just go for Sludge Wave, it's not gonna do anything to me with a Giga Drain. As yeah, that does like ten, so <laughs> uh Sludge Wave will kill this thing. Nido Queen put in some work early on in this game. Um Nido Queen honestly was probably gonna beat my win con eventually, but um here on this play, I predict him to not go for a psychic type move because I have a Hydreigon just sitting in the back. Um, but he gets a crit on a Dragon Pulse, so that actually put me in quite a quite a stupid range. Um, that that was a dumb. I don't know. It was it was a dumb crit. I don't. Cause now I don't know what this Raikou set is. I don't want it to set up with like a Celebre Calm Mind and then we have to play around it. So uh, I decided to sack off my Nido Queen there. Because, I, I don't know, that was probably the worst misplay of this whole game, was sacking off Nidoqueen there, because it deals with the Toxapex and the Skarmory, like, it Oko's both those, like, easily, so, uh, that was a very big misplay on my part. Also, you had no more grounded Mons, I mean, he had this, but, like, it dies to a Thunderbolt, I don't, I don't know, I, I just, I don't know. I, I really want that playback for the Nido Queen not dying because I would have been able to pretty much seal this game way way easier than I I have or I am doing right now. So if you didn't notice this picked up quite a bit in speed as I've stopped kind of commentating over this because this game will eventually just go to timer. So I'm kind of not just gonna I don't know it's kind of just a rinse wash repeat type of thing with uh, between Venusaur and my Hydreigon and my Reuniclus, it kind of just is all over the place. Um, Venusaur sits on the field for a lot of the turns. Uh, my Hydreon can come in and defog, and I think I just roost up a few times. It's it's a mess. Um, so I'm kind of just going to let this play out, because this was like a 56 turn battle, or 58, something like that. 58 turns, I believe, and a lot of it was just stall after my Queen and his Latias went down. So kind of kind of bots on our end we, we let our big hitters go down and I couldn't bring my Infernape in because this Pex was still around and it was really annoying well, I could just choose anything like even if I had Earthquake it still doesn't really do too much so um, either way like I said this, this is just gonna play out for a few turns I don't I, I'm not gonna really commentate over this I think I'll just let music play and then I will probably be back here as soon as the the action I guess changes or the the outcome is is decided but yeah I'll catch you then
Okay, so you're picking back up uh, after a lot of stall. I think this was like one of the last few turns. Uh, he whirlwinds me out after um, he gets his Skarmory. I get my Skarmory down to quite a bit, um, and I flint it down because I'm Scarfed and I'm faster even after the plus two baton pass to this thing. Um, so that's really good. It does live on like one even after like the seeds damage, so uh, that's kind of annoying because uh, that would have been like a... 3-4 victory. Uh, so now I'm just going to spam Dark Pulse and I believe this is like the last play of the game here in a bit. I think that was the last turn. Yeah, the timer runs out uh, and we end this battle 4-4 four, four, but because of the damage on the Skarmory and the Lopany, uh, we were able to win because uh, he did have... I had basically all my mons at full still. <laughs> Even after all that, my Infernape never touched the field. Hydreigon was basically at full. Uh, Reuniclus basically at full, and then my, what you call it, Venusaur was basically at full, so, uh, he was able to, we were able to kind of chip down his team after quite a, quite a long, a long, I don't know, exchange, so, it was, it was quite the battle, it was, it was the whole hour, it was annoying, it was, it was AIDS, but, uh, no, no hard feelings to him, it was just one of those games that happens after our, after all the offense is gone, it's kind of just, yeah, like, like what's touching this team after, like, Latias, like, what's touching Venusaur after Latias is gone on this team? Like, nothing kills it, unless it's set up Skarm or, like, plus one, like, plus two Lopany, like, even that, like, I, I don't know. Um, and then same for, like, my team, like, nothing on my team was touching, like, Pex, Skarm, since Nidoqueen was gone, and my Electros was gone. Like, Eel could have done it, but Eel was dead. Um, so I don't know, but yeah, either way, GG, we do win four, four. It's a weird, it's a weird game, but we are three and oh currently. So that's kind of hype, but we don't get any differential points for this matchup or for this win. He doesn't get any differential loss. I don't think either. So, um, but he does, get, he does get the loss. So, uh, we are now at top of our division. We made it out with a clean sweep three Oh, so it's nice. Um, next week we go up against Aaron, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we will, we will deal with that next week. Um, but this is like post com post week recording so it's already been done and i'm already like triggered by that match so either way if you did enjoy leave a like like on your way out support is always appreciated and i will catch you all next week's battle peace